Hello everyone. How is everyone doing today? I'm sorry we're not being able to deliver books to you all as of now. But until then, let's read aloud together to keep our spirits high. So today the book I'm reading, as you all know, is The Selfish Crocodile by Faustin Charles and Michael Terry. Deep in the forest in the river lived a large crocodile. He was a very selfish crocodile. He didn't want any other creature to drink or bathe in the river. He thought it was his river. Every day he shouted to the creatures of the forest, Stay away from my river. It's my river. If you come in my river, I'll eat you all. So there were no crabs, no crayfish in the river. All were afraid of the selfish crocodile. The forest creatures kept away from the river as well. Whenever they were thirsty, they went for miles to drink in other rivers and streams. Every day the crocodile lay on his great big back in the sun, picking his big sharp teeth with a stick. Groan! Groan! Early one morning, the forest was awakened by a loud groaning sound. Something was in terrible pain. The creatures thought that it was an animal caught by the crocodile. But as the sun came out brightly, they saw that it was the crocodile who was in pain. He was lying on his big back, holding his swollen jaw, and he was crying real tears. The creatures drew closer, but not too close. Some of the creatures felt sorry for the crocodile. What's the matter with him? asked a deer. I don't know, said a squirrel. Maybe he's going to die, chirped a bird. If that happens, it'll be safe to go in the river, grunted a wild pig. The animals thought about this. They hung from the branches. They hung from vines. They buzzed in the air and they shook their heads as they watched the big, great big crocodile in pain. No animal tried to help. Suddenly, a little mouse appeared, sniffing the air. He ran along the crocodile's tail, then onto his tummy. The other creatures stared. Look at that mouse, chattered a monkey. He's either very brave or mad. He is going to be eaten for sure, said an iguana. The mouse crept along the crocodile's big neck and into his open mouth. There was a hush in the forest. The mouse got hold of something and pulled and pulled and pulled. Then he put it on his shoulder and walked out of the crocodile's mouth. There was a loud cheer from the astonished creatures. The crocodile sat up and said, I don't feel any more pain. It's all gone. Then he saw the mouse walking down his tummy carrying on enormous crocodile tooth on his shoulder. Your bad tooth was giving you the toothache, answered the mouse, turning around to face the now smiling crocodile. Do you want it back? Oh, no, 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 get rid of it. And when you've done that, come back. I'll have a present for you. The mouse went and buried the bad tooth under a tree. And when he returned, the crocodile had a nice juicy nut waiting for him. As the crocodile watched the mouse eating the nut, he said to him, You were very clever, getting rid of my toothache, and kind too. 
I am so grateful. But what shall I do if my toothache comes back? Don't worry, I'll help you take care of your teeth, answered the mouse, nibbling. Soon the crocodile and the mouse were the best of friends. And one day, the crocodile sent all the animals an invitation. Please come to drink and bathe in the river. I won't hurt you. The river belongs to us all, he said. The creatures weren't afraid to drink and bathe in the river anymore. Although the crocodile was sometimes snappy, they grew to love him. And soon the river was full of fish and tadpoles and crabs and crayfish. The end. Hope you like this story of this very nasty selfish crocodile and how at the end of it all he understands why it's so important to have friends. Moving on, as I mentioned, I'll be reading another book today as a surprise reading for all the mistakes I made yesterday on all the technical glitches. So this book is called Please Mr. Panda by Steve Anthony. Would you like a donut? Give me the pink one, says the penguin. No, you, you cannot have a, a donut. I have changed my mind. Would you like a donut? I want the blue one and the yellow one. No, you cannot have a donut. I have changed my mind. Would you like a donut? No, go away. Would you like a donut? I want them all. Then bring me some more, says the whale. No, you cannot have a donut. I have changed my mind. Would anyone else like a donut? Hello, comes this little one here. May I have a donut? Please, Mr. Panda. You can have them all. Thank you very much. I love donuts. You're welcome. I don't like donuts. The end. Look at him snoozing away. So the first time I read this book, I wondered what the book is all about. I didn't quite get it. And then when I read it the second, third time, I realized that this book talks about the power of saying please. So all the animals and all the friends that he went to to offer donuts, none of them said please. And at the very end, the last friend said please. And that's when he decided to give all his donuts to him. So that, my friend, is the power of saying please. On that note, thank you for today. And we'll see you all again tomorrow, same time, with yet another amazing book to read together. Thank you. Bye-bye.